Hey guys, welcome to today's Geek Talk, I guess. Um, as some of you already know, uh, season four of Avatar The Last Airbender was revealed by the previous creator, the showrunner of the show, Aaron E. I'm not gonna say the last name because I'm going to screw it up. Same with all the last names and all of the uh, Airbender creators. They all have last names that I barely can pronounce, but that's not the point. Uh, I was on hiatus when this news initially came out. Uh, the big thing that came out from that story was that Azula was going to have a redemption arc. Um, and that never actually panned out even in the comic books, which are kind of like season four of the Airbender series. Uh, it went a different direction, but new information just came out today and I kind of wanted to discuss that. So during an interview in which the Dragon Prince came up, which is the new series that Aaron Iaz, Iaz, I don't know how to say his last name, Iaz, uh, he said this, in my mind, I was always thinking this was going to be a four season arc. Mike and Brian's initial plan was three seasons, but there was a period where they were open to the possibility of a fourth season. There was a period where Mike said, hey, can you run season four? Then some of those plans got interrupted. My feeling about that was like, there's always a cost, right? There's always some balance. You can't just be like, I'm the Avatar, taking your powers away. It's a great power, but part of it is that you took all this evil into you. To take it away from someone else you're holding on to to protect the world. Now I want to stop right there. There's more to the to the quote, but I think that is a brilliant idea because part of the the whole series is that Aang was kind of too good, like to the point where when he was talking to his past lives and they all told him the same thing, like yo, you got to kill Ozai. Iroh was like, yo, you got to kill Ozai. And Aang was the only one in the entire group and so the the entire Avatar cycle to say, hey, isn't there another solution? Um, and then, he, of course, he did find that solution with the lion turtle and the energy bending and taking the bending away. But as we know from just energy in general, it's dispersed. It's never just completely obliterated. So that energy has to go somewhere. And another series that I like a lot that did this was Final Fantasy XV. Um, one of the main villain characters, uh, sorry, spoiler alert for uh, Final Fantasy XV if you were planning on playing it, but it's a three-year-old game at this point. So I don't think I really need to do that. Arden in that game was originally in that story a sin eater or someone who could take on the star scourge but in doing so taking all the sin from everybody else in the world he himself became the star scourge and became evil also tochi onibuchi's uh, i'm probably pronouncing his name wrong a nigerian american author also wrote about a story about sin eaters and i always thought that that concept was very interesting especially when i read that book and when i watched or played uh, final fantasy 15 i was like that's a really crazy idea someone who sucks in evil but then in turn becomes evil as a sacrifice to everybody else in the world uh, and that's the great thing about Aang is that he's always or the avatar in general is that it's a, it's a sacrifice for the for the rest of the world so to have this idea with avatar Aang dealing with this issue of having this great evil of ozai in, in him and having to deal with that i think would have been an, an amazing uh, potential for the series uh, for season four uh, also because as the interview goes on to say uh he's uh, the creator said that he would have had zuko be a main part of helping Aang come out of that because of course zuko went through his entire series in the last airbender dealing with the own hatred and passion in himself so he'd be the perfect you know counterpart to Aang to get him out of that uh, but just to see like a potential like evil avatar at some point sure we had Korra who was a little bit carefree and a little bit you know hot-headed but it wasn't really she wasn't really evil like the closest we got to an evil avatar was Vatu and in, in book two but we don't talk about book two Lord, Legend of Korra even me someone who likes Legend of Korra but to see it with Aang I think that would have been an amazing amazing season to see especially because we saw so much of the good ang to see him kind of evil which we kind of got glimpses of anytime we saw him going to the avatar state because he was angry we saw a little bit of that of that evil side but to see that over the course of an entire season and maybe even have azula can't come in and help him because she sees wow i'm really bad to see this kid suffering so much to see her turn over a new leaf because uh, that was part of the potential is that you know there would be a azula redemption art i think that would have been a compelling very compelling uh continuation to the series now granted i don't i do think that book one two three have a perfect arc to it like you know it ends at book three um and if they do do another series or if they did do a new series with a season four of um, avatar maybe if they rebranded it as like a new storyline entirely uh that could have worked so th that's it I, I just wanted to talk about that uh, get that news out there if you guys didn't know about it uh but yeah that's it uh, i'll see you guys on the next one let me know what you guys think about a potential season four or what could have been a potential season four for the last airbender where we could have gotten evil ang who had to deal with the ozai spirit that was basically inside him 
But that's it, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, love, and remember, be water, my friends.